I was one of Jim Strickland's uh, early fellows, my wife Leslie and then two of our daughters came to Indianapolis in the mid-1970s. My first encounter with Jim was a year earlier during a fellowship interview. In the days following, I reflected on what I had witnessed during my 24 hours in Indianapolis. A skilled, gifted, and down-to-earth surgeon, for sure, as well as a physician who was practicing medicine by creating a very warm and comfortable, but yet professional environment. Well, over the next 40 plus years, I, along with many of you here today, have traveled along life's highway with Jim. He's been honored with many of the highest awards and accolades. He also has faced many disappointments and adversities, and through it all, he's maintained that humility he maintained a great sense of humor, his incredibly positive attitude, his love for his family and all of his friends, and his devotion to his beloved Indiana University, especially Hoosier basketball. He remained the exact same guy I met almost 50 years ago. Well, Jim was clearly a dear friend to me and many others and a role model for his students and fellows the impact he had on shaping the character and careers of many hand surgeons is truly remarkable. I can't imagine a more deserving and, re and worthy recipient of the Indiana University School of Medicine Distinguished Alumni Award. It goes without saying that he was a man of impeccable character and integrity. He was the real deal. And anyone who had the pleasure and the opportunity and the blessing to work with him was made better by it. I cannot imagine that the University of Indiana could have found a more worthy recipient for their Distinguished Alumnus Award. Thank you. It's my privilege tonight to be able to share um, my dad's acceptance speech, uh, which he had written uh, in anticipation of tonight. So uh, I'll share his words with you and I'll do my best to get through it. Thank you. It's a great honor to accept this award. Thank you to Indiana University School of Medicine and its representatives, to my dear family, beloved friends, and esteemed colleagues for being here to celebrate with me. Successful careers are not solo ventures, but rather the result of several influential experiences and relationships. My medical development as a physician, then as an orthopedic surgeon, and finally as a hand surgeon, was greatly influenced by wonderful mentors, the most important of whom were George J. Garso, MD, and William Stromberg, Jr., MD, who I gratefully acknowledge. Neither the success of my career nor the outcomes such as this would have been possible without the involvement of very dedicated staff including hand therapists, nurses, physicians, and the physicians that I had the pleasure of working with throughout the years. You know who you are, so thank you. When I sit back and think about what was most important, what I have left behind, I realize the answer is easily the more than 150 young men and women that I have had the opportunity to help train and the wonderful care they provide patients around the world. Many have become teachers themselves in their practice setting, in orthopedic surgery literature, and at national educational meetings. Others have become leaders in their communities and, their med and medical organizations. I am incredibly proud of them. In truth, those I trained probably taught me more than I taught them. In closing, I'd like to share two things that have been guiding principles in my life. First, invest yourself 100% in your endeavors and have fun doing it. The second is borrowed from my sister, Jill Ruckelshaus, who during her commencement address to the 1989 graduating class at Indiana University Bloomington said, it is important at all times and in every way and by as much as possible to beat Purdue. <laughs>